Hey there, Evan. I'm going to give you the information you need so that you can get those science trainings finished. And so the first thing is you're going to sign into your account with the information that you gave me the other day. So I put in your username, the password you gave me, which is the four kids or exclamation point. Once you are signed into the PLTW account, there's several places that you are going to be going using this dashboard right here. So you have the professional development piece, you have the courses, and you have community. These are the three courses, professional development, and community that you are going to need to get into. So first of all, um, the most important thing is how to get to the video so that you can do the trainings um, and listen to the instructor. And then the other pieces are how you maneuver between courses and professional development to access what he talks about in the videos. So we're going to go to community first. And when you click on community, I, as I told you earlier, I did your prerequisite work so that you are all set and you could join these. You'll notice that you have a lot of different communities that you are part of based on um, what our school has access to. The one that you need is this first one, this Grace 2, because that's that Grace 2 group that is training. So you click on that. And when you go in here, this is James Kulzer. He is your instructor that you will be working with on September 23rd. Um, these are the posts that he has put into the community to help as reminders and, and as ways to do part of the training. So sometimes during that training, you may have to come into the community to post something to show that you were actively involved. But what you need to do is scroll down to this post that he put in on August 23rd and it says trainer information here. That's how you know the one. It's trainer information and you need to expand the post right here to see those videos that you need to have access to. So when you expand, here are those two recordings that were done. So August 18th was block one and August 21st was block two. Watch them in order. Um, so you would click here, get into the video and he will instruct you. It's a two hour video. Um, that goes through all of the steps of each of those blocks. So that's number one important being able to get into that community. So that's where you go for that. All right. Um, so remember, it's this community that you're going into and you're going underneath that trainer information, expand the post so you can find those videos. Um, beyond that, I'm going to get us back to the screen. So I used my back arrow. It seems to be the easiest way to get you back and forth between things. Otherwise, sometimes it can be a little confusing. So I'm back where I signed in for you. That was that community where you'll find the videos. Now, some of the things that you're going to need during that time is access to those blocks. And there's an agenda for each one of them under professional development. If you click professional development, let it load, you will find this is your PLTW um, launch classroom. This is the track that we I started for you by doing your prerequisites. So I'm going to click on this resume track. When I say resume track, you will see here's a prerequisite that you did and the getting started. I completed this for you and it really was a matter of going in and opening each of these documents and it says it's completed. If you have some time at some point and want to get some background on what Project Lead the Way is, this is where you would go to open these up and you could click on each of these and there's documents to read or videos to watch. They give you a really good introduction to that, but you don't have to do that right now. Um, concentrate on getting those blocks done. But what you do need here is once you're in your blocks and you are asked to do some work and submit something, for the training for him to look over and grade this is where you need to go this pltw launch classroom teacher training when you click on that it takes you to this screen and this was the hardest one for teachers to remember where to go but it's underneath that professional development and he does walk you through that but this is where you need to go to submit your work for each of those blocks
All right. So that is what you click on this third piece right here. The teacher training will get you there. I'm going to take us back to our dashboard again. This is when you click on professional development, you will see this in your account. All right, we are going to go back one more time to that main page. If I can get us back there. Oh, uh, let's see, dashboard professional. Oh, my PLTW right here, I believe will pull you back to this page. This is where you want to be. All right. Um, and so I showed you community to find your video, professional development to submit your work. Courses is where you need to be during the video so that you can follow along on the agenda and any work that he has. So once you hit um, courses, you have three of them up here. It's the blue box or the blue folder that is your professional development. Click on that. It brings up these two. You want the classroom teacher training. When you click on that, it takes you to the training pages. And if you notice on the left, you should see this menu pop up for you. If you don't, it's probably because it somehow got closed. You just tap up in the corner, it will reopen. But here's where you'll notice block one, two, three, and four. The orientation block was done by the teachers ahead of the trainings in August. Um, they met together for about 30 minutes just to make sure that all of the online pieces were working for them. We will we'll take care of that when you come to the training on the 23rd to make sure that you get logged in properly and you're ready to go. Um, for now, when you're watching the videos, this is where you need to go and go to block one. When you click on block one, it takes you to the overview and this is the thing to follow. Here's your agenda. So the first two hours of this agenda are what he will do for you, what James will have on those videos. And then these two hours is what they call it's your turn. And this is where you actually do the work following what you learned in this video. So this is the work that you need to complete. And so that's the agenda for that. And then it breaks it down here into your pieces. So it's your turn goes in depth here. So when I go over here, it breaks it down. So the block one overview shows you what the day is going to be like for that block one. The cohort connection is what he goes through when he talks to you in the video and it's page after page and you'll just follow along. You'll see him showing that on the video and it's your turn is the work you need to do. So that works for both block one and for block two, you'll have the same pieces. So again, your overview, which tells you what's going to happen. It shows you the agenda, same process, two hours and two hours, your connection. This is what he'll go through on the video. And then it's your turn. This is the work that you have to do for that. And then submit whatever it is that he tells you needs to be submitted. All right. So a quick review again, when we're back here, this gives you information you need to follow along during the videos and to complete your work. This professional development is where you're going to go in order to um, turn in your work to submit your work and community is where you're going to go to find the videos. I hope this all helps. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to support.